Welcome to lesson 10 of your Seal Nim Tao course. Now in this lesson I'm going to take you through part C of the Seal Nim Tao form and just talk you through it so once again you can see it but also hear how the movement should be. So you should already be in your stance, fists will be up by the side. Now from here your left palm opens up to the flat palm and comes across to the right shoulder for a puck out. Then it comes back across to the left armpit on a 45 degree angle. From here it tracks a straight line to the center for a palm strike. Then the palm flattens, you point the fingers up, side down for your finger sound movement to a fist and back. Then the same on your right side, right palm opens up coming across to the left shoulder. Then it comes back to the right armpit on a 45 degree angle, taking a straight line with the heel of the palm to the center line for a palm strike. Palm flattens, hoon sow or circling hand to a fist and back. Now from here, your left palm opens up in front of the belly, pointing off to the side, the wrist in front of approximately the belly button. Then from here, you pierce up to about between your eyes. So it's like the middle fingers between your eyes. And from here, it cuts down. So the hand, sorry, the wrist and hand stay on your center as it cuts down to about, you know, uh, belly height. Then from here, it comes back up. So turning, turning the wrist as the palm comes up to about throat height. Now from here, the fingers come back towards you, pointing up, and then turn down so that they're pointing off to the right side, kind of like it's pointing towards the right hand if you were looking in the mirror. And then it opens up like a gate for a palm strike. Palm flattens, circling hand to a fist, back. Same with the right side. Right hand, where the wrist is approximately in front of the belly button, coming up to have the middle finger between the eyes, cuts down down to the belly height, coming back up to throat, fingers point down towards the left side and then opens up like a gate for a palm strike, palm flattens, circling palm to a fist and back. Now from here your left palm opens up, you see the fingers are already pointed at the centre line. Now from here the fingers take a straight line, the elbow arcs out and bolts out, finishing at about three quarter extension, the fingers pointing straight down towards the centre line. Then you keep the hand on the center as the elbow drops down and the palm turns up. And then the heel of the palm comes up for a heel palm strike to a circling palm and a fist and back. Now same with the right side. Right hand opens up, fingers taking a straight line, elbow arcs out, the bones out. Hand stays on the center, maintaining that center line as the elbow drops down. Then the heel of the palm comes up, palm flat, circle the hand to a fist and back. Now from here, the left hand comes in front of the center for a chit sao, cutting straight down and forward. Right hand over the elbow, coming down and forward six times. And then the left hand turns to a fist, coming straight down the center line of the punch. The right hand turns to a punch, coming back in front of the chest. Then the front hand drops slightly to bring the left to clear the path for the right hand to come straight down and forward into a center line strike. So now you're doing chain punches. Now the front hand, you remember this front hand drops to clear the path of this hand to hit and that comes important in your cross punching exercises. You do six of those and then fist to the side, right foot to left and we're done. Great, so that's part C of this little tower form which I've just talked you through. In our next lesson, I'm just going to go through it quietly and then we're going to go through the whole form again so you can really get it nailed. Once again, if you do have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below. We'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible and I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson.